We're in the front part of the studio and I've set up a drafting table to show the process for drawing what you're going to make. In furniture, in fabrication of any kind, uh, you were typically were trained to draw the item and dimension it first. And that gave you an opportunity as you worked your way through it to see how each part fit together in your overall design. Typically you start with a conceptual drawing, a sketch, a picture that you might have seen somewhere that made you think of something. And this is on the creative side of what you could make. It could be a table, it could be a sculpture, it could be a fountain, a water feature, anything that you would want to make. But in order to make these things, you have to be sure that the dimensions and the proportions are correct. And the only way you can do that is to make a drawing. And you start out with a, what I call a conceptual drawing. It's from an angle. And then you go to the different sides, front, view, rear, top, so that you can show it in all forms. And from those sections, they're called sections, you know and create what the dimensions will be for each piece you're going to make. And that way when you go to the metal shop to order your materials, you have a complete list, how it cuts out of a larger sheet so you're not wasting and making unnecessary scrap or expense and you cut your pieces out, you do your machining. There's a whole process and order to making the simplest of items. And I thought since the industrial look, the industrial arts, which is where I was trained in the 1960s, have become popular again, the best place to start would be to make a table. It's a pretty simple item to make primarily right angles with a wood top. A lot of the people like the warehouse industrial look. If you look on Google or YouTube or even on Etsy, people are fabricating them, making different versions of them. So I thought it would be fun to design a specific table, probably a coffee table or an end table, something small that was doable. We could get used or new material and used a recycled top uh, bowling floors are used, they're two and a half inch thick maple. You can get inch and a half thick maple or oak uh, in, in antique shops. Sometimes they're just in sections and you cut what you need for the top. So on this drawing, this is a, a table that I designed for someone in Cambridge, Mass. And they wanted a table that would fold up because the apartment is so little. It was only 400 square feet. So everything had to be similar to projects I've done for ships. When you make something for a ship or a large boat, everything has to fold away and be secured to survive all the things that are going on. But when you want to use it, you have to be able to fold it down. So this particular table I designed with steel legs like you would find in a factory. He wanted the rivet look at some point, so it would have sort of a fake looking rivet like an I-beam in an old factory. The top would have uh, inch and a half thick oak, and underneath it there would be brackets that would swing out, so when the top lays down, it'll have stability. This would be bolted to the floor because as narrow as this particular piece is, it wouldn't stand up on its own. And that gives you the stability. This brace, you can put your feet on. Some people like to do that, but it's actually there to keep this piece from racking. So that's the process for this particular piece. While doing the drawing, each side of this architect's scale has a number. This is a half inch scale, one eighth, one quarter, three quarter, and then your typical 12 inch ruler. So if you're drawing a drawing of this size, typically you would stay with half inch or a three eighths. And that would make the picture not so big that it wouldn't even fit on the paper because 
the next drawing that has to be done is the profile of each single piece you're going to make. And this is just the initial drawing of how it's going to look. It's really done for the client to see so they have an idea and typically any changes are done before you go to fabrication drawings.